Greetings, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from the Dank Basement. I'm Paul Shalbetter, and I am here today to talk about first aid for nicotine poisoning or a nicotine overdose. This is pretty serious stuff, but please remember I am not a doctor, and please do not take what I am about to tell you as medical advice. You need to do your own research, and please, uh, talk to your own doctor before you have a nicotine emergency. Nicotine is a water-soluble organic poison that is eliminated through your kidneys and urinary system. Nicotine affects the cardiovascular system first, your heart, your blood pressure, your bloodstream, and then moves on to your central nervous system. In minor cases of nicotine poisoning, the symptoms are usually uh, high blood pressure, maybe a rapid heartbeat or tachycardia, heart palpitations, cold sweats, and perhaps a feeling of dizziness or disorientation. If that should happen, don't panic. Sit down, take some deep breaths, try to relax, and slowly sip some water. I say slowly sip water instead of gulp it because you don't want to vomit the water back up. That would cause its own set of problems. Now, in some cases, depending on the person's age, weight, physical condition, physical health, uh, you can have more severe effects from nicotine poisoning depending on how much nicotine you have taken. And unfortunately, two of those negative effects can be heart attack, or seizures. All right, if you do have a serious medical emergency, I urge you, first thing, call your local emergency number in the United States. That is always 911. There are different emergency numbers for different countries, and I urge you to learn your emergency number and keep it in mind in case you have a really serious reaction to nicotine. I've also, in the description box, posted the number in the United States for the 1-800 number, the toll-free number, for the National Poison Control Hotline. They can give you some very good advice if you're having mild symptoms. Better advice, in fact, than I can give you. So keep that number handy, too. Now, remember, tobacco, in particular, carries a lot of nicotine. and. Uh, tobacco is a member of the deadly nightshade family. It is by nature poisonous. So be careful how you use your tobacco. You may be able to uh, prevent many of the symptoms I've just discussed simply by drinking some water while you use tobacco. I hope this helps. Remember, I'm not a doctor. Please do your own research and uh, Figure it out for yourself. But I will say this, remember that tobacco and nicotine are not without health risks. Even the relatively benign, in my opinion, Swedish snus and nasal snuff carry health risks. So if you don't currently use tobacco or nicotine, please don't start. It is risky for your health. Okay. And of course, remember that tobacco and nicotine use are considered to be adult customs. And in most areas, the consumption of nicotine and tobacco is regulated by law. In most cases, anybody who is not a legal adult cannot legally use nicotine. There are very good reasons for that. So pay attention to the laws, please. Again, I hope this helps. Do your own research. And please stay healthy. From the Dank Basement, I'm Paul Shalbetter, also known as your Wicked Uncle Squinty. Be well.